This is Overtime Inside Fantasy Sports, the 411. Randall the Handle, Matthew Koz joining me. As always, we take a look in the little PPA that we like to call the Toronto Sun. And Randall the Handle provides his picks each and every Friday. And Randall, we already covered two of your best bets already on the show on Fantasy Sports, the 411. Let's deal with your other best bet. It's the Jacksonville Jaguars somehow, some way, sitting at 6-4. and four, And they're taking on a very beat-up New York, New York Giants team. Who do you like in this one? Well, seven points just seems like a lot. Jacksonville's playing very hard. They're playing with a lot of confidence right now, and the Giants are just the opposite. You're missing your two top receivers. Now Mario Manningham's your one guy that you can go to. What, are that, what happens if they double up? Yeah, and, 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 and absolutely add on to that. There's injuries on the offensive line right now. Ahmad Bradshaw is fumbling. They've gone back to Brandon Jacobs. Right. I'm sorry, but like this Giants team is so beat up right now. I love Jacksonville. I know Jacksonville on the road, but Jacksonville, the last two games on the road have actually... Don't look at me like yeah, that, Wheeler. This, this don't look at me like that. I mean, you want to talk about wide receivers being banged up. Their go-to is Mike Thomas. MJD, is he's banged up as well. Aaron Campman out for the year. Both teams yeah, have Injuries, so I'm going to go with the team with more talent, and that is New York Giants. I don't know right now which team is is that much more talented. I mean, really? I think the Giants are, but I don't think it's by that much. And the Giants, remember last year, this is a team that is prone for long losing streaks. We saw this last year after they started off 5-0, and and we're seeing the same things again. And David Garrard has been playing very, very yes. well. His numbers yeah. have been good. His passing rating has been good. Yeah. You're taking a bunch of points in a game that really is a pick em yeah. based on circumstances at, the, at this moment. And the Giants are just beat and up. Garrard by the way, the last two weeks, on his last two road games, excuse me, he's played very well. They went into Dallas and crushed the Cowboys, a team that crushed the Giants just two weeks ago. Wow, deductive reasoning on this yes. program. Never. Yes. I want to talk about then, another marquee game this weekend. I'm looking forward to this one. It's the Green Bay Packers going to Atlanta to, or sorry, a 7-3 team taking on the 8-2 Falcons. For me, this game is a pick em. I don't know which way this game is going. This is going to be a, this is a tough one. I kind of actually, I kind of like Atlanta in this one, and again, it's, it's a lot just about John Abraham. Right. And again, I'm a huge Abraham fan, and it's just interesting to watch Atlanta, how good this team is when Abraham is healthy and getting to the quarterback. Um, I'm a big fan of Matt Ryan. I think Roddy White's the best wide receiver. Uh, Michael Turner played well, has played well recently. So I like the Falcons in this one. You know, you, both teams are very legit NFC contenders, and, and they could meet in the final. Who knows? Yeah. So it really is a toss-up. But Atlanta's been so good at home under Matt Ryan. They've lost only one of their last 20 in the Georgia Dome. That's a big factor. That helps them. They're a little bit weaker on the road. Green Bay's been great since their bye week. I mean, they, they had a bunch of injuries. They kind of adjusted things, and they're playing at a very high level. This really is a toss-up game. I don't have a strong opinion. In my paper pick, I lean to the Falcons. Sure did. But yeah. I know the Packers can win. And, yeah, is this one of those, it's one of those things that... I don't know if the Packers and what they've been doing, whether they've been just really good or it's kind of been smoke and mirrors. Because I don't necessarily know how they've been winning. Well, their defense, their linebacking core is so banged up, and it's guys like Charles Woodson stepping up, taking his game to another level if possible. Exactly. They're somehow putting Matt, pressure on the Clay quarterback. Matthews as well exactly. having an unbelievable season. You're right, they are banged up, but they, you know, but they are getting it done. And good for them. They're, they're doing it without a running game as well. So it's, it's been fascinating. In the late November, the whole league's banged up. It's how you adjust mm, to yeah. it. And, and that's what they're doing right now they're they're adjusting well they're they're well coached and they're just playing at a high level both leaning falcons i was going to bring up the monday nighter but no one cares about that <laughs> game whatsoever Stupid nfl <laughs> the 49ers and the cardinals uh, yikes you can catch randall the handle and the boys each and every sunday morning on the fan 590 it's inside the lines i like to call mandatory listening people yes. and matthew cause uh, mandatory viewing as well how see dare you next you. week